I know students on this campus who, whose families have been entirely wiped out, entirely displaced from their homes in Gaza. UC Berkeley student activists have erected over 100 tents along Sproul Hall on campus, inspired by Columbia University's own encampment in support of a free Palestine. Student activist Yusuf Abu Bakr told me how he hopes the university will respond. Our four demands are clear. We have them on our whiteboard at the front of our camp. It's our job as students to be skeptical of the institutions we're a part of. We're going to continue to use our voice. We're going to continue to express our four demands. And we're going to continue to be out here until the UC divests. Dan Mogulov, a spokesperson for UC Berkeley, told me about the school's response to each of the four demands. The university has no plans to change its investment policies or practices. And regarding the other issues that were raised, we'll save discussion about that for direct conversation with the students themselves. Yusuf made it clear why student activists will continue to protest in this way, despite it being a disruption to daily life. Of course, none of us want to be in this camp. None of us, all of us have lives. All of us have our own things going on in our, in our, in our lives. All of us are here because we have to be here. We can acknowledge the human suffering in Gaza, the violence in Gaza, the suffering in Gaza, and... We're willing to, you know, put our, you know, academic lives at risk by, by sitting out in these encampments. But it's because, like, a lot of us are able to acknowledge the privilege we've been given. I then asked Dan if he believes UC Berkeley's response of not divesting is in the best interest of students. I'm, you need to talk to the regents. Investment policy is established by the regents of the University of California, and I don't, I can't speak on their behalf. Although many students are at the forefront of Berkeley's own pro-Palestine movement, Yusuf made it clear exactly what they stand for. We can make this to be uh, a students versus academia conflict, but honestly, that's, that's not the problem. All the struggle we experience here on these campuses is nothing compared to what's happening in Gaza. And we always have to remind ourselves that the, the struggle in Gaza, um, the violence in Gaza, the state of fear in Gaza, that's what we're here for. For CalTV News, this has been Mariana Garcia.